Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I would love if you would be a part of my YouTube family. Please press that subscribe button down below. I am a mom of two. I have a two and a half year old girl and a one month old baby boy. And today I am sharing all of our newborn essentials that we couldn't live without during the first month with baby boy. And they are definitely different from my daughter but there's a lot of the sames as well. So I'm gonna get into it and share it with you guys. Like I said, don't forget to press that subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up and let's jump into the product. Hey darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey guys, so before we get into the video, I wanna give a huge shout out to my friend for making this shirt for me. I can link her Facebook shop um, group down below. She is amazing. She has really good, fast shipping available. She's open to ideas and customization and everything like that. So definitely go check her out. I'm obsessed with my shirt. I'm definitely gonna get a long sleeve version of the shirt, probably in like a pink or a burgundy color for the fall time. But I thought for the summertime, this bright blue is really cute. And I am a breastfeeding mama, so I had to rep that. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into the products. Okay, so if you're a mom of two or more, you definitely know how it feels when you have a newborn and another one to take care of and like life goes on. You have to make breakfast, you have to make snacks, you have to do nap time, you have to do play time. There's so many things you have to do and holding a newborn and doing all that is really, really rough. So when you go from zero to one, you kind of just have one kid to take care of, obviously, but going from one to two to two to three to three to four, I'm assuming is probably just as hard. Um, going from one to two um, hasn't been as hard for us as it was from zero to one. It's just prioritizing my time and kind of making a routine throughout the day, trying to figure out where I can schedule different things, when I can have time with my daughter, when I can have time with my son, and just trying to like figure out where I'm gonna put my time and everything like that. But anyway, back to the product that I'm obsessed with and that I couldn't live without is baby wraps. So with my daughter, I had the Moby, which this is a Moby as well. I had the blue one for my baby shower. I got this really, really pretty tan color. I can insert some pictures here of me wearing the wrap. It's very, very easy. I went on YouTube. There's tons of tutorials and tons of versions of different wraps. Um, how you can wear them and everything like that. You can make them face you, you can put their legs out, you can put their legs out facing the outside, but I've just worn um, him like a newborn hold and he really loves it. I take him on walks in it, I wear him throughout the house in it. I will say that the Moby Wrap gets pretty, pretty hot when you go outside, at least where I'm from, it's like 95, 100 degrees outside. So wearing this scarf outside, it gets really, really toasty. So I have another version of a wrap which is the Lily Baby Carrier. This is so, so convenient, so nice. I love how structured it is. I love how durable it is. And he just fits right in this hole. And like I said, he can face you, he can face outwards. There's different types of holding. You can do front, you can do back. I mean, this, this wrap or this carrier goes a long way. I can't wait to wear him when he gets older. And he's already over 11 pounds, so. We definitely can use this for a good bit. So yeah, I love this carrier. I got it in just this gray color, but it's really durable. It has pockets. It has different um, like compartments in here. You can put your phone, you can put a water bottle um, and everything like that. Like I said, I haven't gotten into like putting much stuff in here. It's just really convenient when you're in the house or even if you're going on a walk. Uh, we usually go on like a like an afternoon walk or like a morning walk or anything like that. So definitely holding him in here and then, you know, being with my toddler, pushing her on her bike or holding her hand. It makes it really convenient when you can have two hands and you have a nice thick carrier. But yeah, I'm obsessed with the Lily Baby and I'm obsessed with the Moby. So definitely get yourself a baby wrap um, because during the first good bit of weeks, they wanna be held all the time. They wanna smell you, they wanna be next to you. And it's really hard to do that holding them and also making lunch for your toddler or even for yourself, or even just trying to drink some water. It gets really, really rough sometimes. So definitely invest in a baby carrier or baby wrap or both. 
So the next product is for all of my breastfeeding mamas. I breastfed my daughter for the first three to four months and then after that I just exclusively pumped. So I didn't really get into the whole breastfeeding experience and everything like that. She had a terrible latch. She was not interested. She just wanted the bottle and wanted the milk fast. With my son, he is so great at latching. I do bottles and I do um, like nursing him like to the to the boob basically um i do a mixture of that all throughout the day and everything like that but i came across the haka basically what you do is if your baby is nursing from your left side you put this on your right side to catch your let down um from your right side that they're not feeding off of because if you don't have a haka then you would just get a like breast pad or a blanket or something like that to catch all your let down and my let down will be about two to three ounces and i can literally put that in a milk bag and store it in my freezer and have milk for later. I can store it in my fridge and prep him a bottle later. So definitely invest in a hog. I think this was 10 or $11 on Amazon. It works super, super good. You just push, you just suction it on you and hold it down and then release. And then all your milk will go in here and you can store it however you want to, whether that's in the fridge or in the freezer and you can have it for later for your baby. Or if you're looking to build a freezer stash, Definitely invest in a Hakka. I really, really wish I used this from the start with my daughter, but I definitely started it from day one with my son, and I already have a good freezer collection as well as a fridge collection, so that way we can give bottles and I can have a break and my um, fiance can feed him. So yeah, the Hakka is so, so good. I know so many moms like rave about this, and yeah, definitely invest in one. Next product, speaking of bottles, is a Como Tomo bottle. I will insert a picture right here because all of my bottles are downstairs right now and I'm currently upstairs in the movie room filming for you guys. So the Como Tomo bottle we actually used with my daughter and she loves the Como Tomo bottle. It is silicone and it doesn't let so much air in and it only has two two pieces, the nipple and then the green um, thing that goes around the nipple and then you just Put it on the actual bottle it's so easy i know the dr brown's bottles are really really popular but they just have so many parts and so many things you have to clean that i don't have time for that and it's like literally a puzzle piece to put together whereas a komotomo bottle is so easy to clean it's so just convenient so we started using the komotomo bottles with my son and he loves it he doesn't get a lot of air in he doesn't get a lot of gas he doesn't get a lot of like things like that that are common with like different bottles and we were on the hunt for this with my daughter we were trying everything we tried the advent bottles we tried the lanceno bottles we tried the dr brown's bottles we tried the slow flow bottles we tried the playtex bottles and we ended up landing on the komotomo and this time around i was like we're just gonna start with komotomo with him and it has been working ever since and they have a four ounce and an eight ounce and they have three different um, nipple flows they have the slow flow the medium flow and the fast flow so you can pick which one you want to mix and match with your bottles and with your different ounces and yeah they are just so cute so convenient they have pink and they have green and we've just always gotten the green ones but yeah that is definitely a win-win for us so the next product i want to share with you guys that i don't have right now it is with my son is the wubba nub so my daughter did not take any pacifiers at all. We tried all the different kinds. We tried Tommy Tippy, we tried Ma'am, we tried Wubba Nub, we tried um, the like, I think it's the Itsy Ritzy ones at Target that are really cute. Um, she did not take a pacifier. My son does not take a pacifier all the time. He takes it like when we're in the car or just a little bit here and there. But we found that the Wubba Nub is his favorite pacifier and it's also the most expensive pacifier pacifier that we have bought and of course he loves it um so we have the one with the sloth but he loves that one and he also likes the ma'am the ma'am is hit or miss but the wubba is definitely a favorite and the second favorite is ma'am and i just try to give it to him if he's getting a little fussy or if we're trying to get him in the car seat i try to just give it to him so he can soothe a little bit but he just soothes a little bit and then spits it out and he's perfectly content he's not all the time on the pacifier um but he at least takes it whereas my daughter wanted nothing to do with it she spit it out right away and be even more fussy that you even tried to give her a pacifier but yeah the wubba nub is really really great they have different animals and everything like that so definitely try out the wubba nub if you haven't tried that one already and you're struggling to find a pacifier or even the ma'am ones we have like the ma'am glow in the dark ones and they're really easy to find at nighttime. and yeah 
That is the favorite pacifiers around here. So the last product that I have been loving is the Mom Cozy Wearable Breast Pump. This has been such a lifesaver, guys. I, when I breastfed my daughter, I had the Medela Freestyle Pump and it just kind of was hard being tied down to the wall and being stuck having to, you know, have a plug and having all the tubes with the flanges and everything like that. But with the Mom Cozy Breast Pump, it is a chargeable breast pump. You just plug it in right here, let this top piece charge, and then plug it back on here and put it in your bra and pump away. It is so nice and so convenient. Your milk just collects in here. It is super, super easy to clean. It's just so convenient when you have a toddler and you have a newborn and I pump in between feedings like I'll give I'll nurse him and I'll pump afterwards just to get any extra milk or if I give him a bottle I will pump while I am feeding him and it's just so quick and easy there are different settings on here there are different modes on here and you just customize it to your suction level and I'm on a suction three. I think that's like the most I can do. I know some people who are on a one or two or some even go higher, but a three is convenient for me. I can get at least three, four pumping sessions, 10 minutes on each side before charging it. So it's not like you have to run and charge this every single time or anything like that. I actually was pumping in the car yesterday when we were on the way to my son's doctor appointment. It's just so conveniently easy and all you do is just pump it collects your milk in here and there's a hole right here at the top and you just pour it into a freezer bag into a bottle and it's so quick so easy super super easy to clean like i said just peel this off clean this part and clean this part i just hand wash it and it's really quick and convenient and you just push in these sides you just line up the hole and close it just like a little like Tupperware container and there you go it is so so easy I can put the link to the mom cozy website down below they have so many cute things on their website but definitely their breast pump is the way to go if you're looking for something convenient if you're looking for something hands-free and affordable then definitely look into this there's other pumps out there that aren't like super super affordable but this is a really good price the suction is really really good for a wearable breast pump i know some people have opinions when it comes to wearable ones that the suction isn't right but the suction is really good it is really strong and i can get a ton of milk out so definitely check out the mom cozy wearable breast pump also with the mom cozy wearable breast pump you can also get the pumping bra as well so you can literally wear this and pump at the same time and it has it's a typical nursing bra super easy super convenient and everything like that but this one is just so cute it's a really cute leopard print it's gray it's black i'm in a size small but yeah this is just so comfy so cozy it makes sure that this bra is tight on you so when you put the pump on it's not falling off where you get a good good suction so definitely check out the mom cozy pumping bras and they have so many cute colorful ones and everything like that they have basic ones but i'm just obsessed with the leopard ones it's super stretchy it's super comfortable they have one two three four different settings for um the like sizing on the back so if you don't want it too tight or if you want it a little snug there's four different options to tighten it as well. But yeah, definitely check out the Mom Cozy website. I will put their link down below so you can check it out because if you are a breastfeeding mom or exclusively pumping mom, you guys need a wearable breast pump so you can get stuff done around the house and on the go and also be able to attend to your baby, your toddler, and everything like that without being tied down to a plug. Well, that is it for my newborn essentials for my one month old, the products that we have been enjoying and loving. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe and give it a big thumbs up. But anyway, I'll catch you in my next one. I post vlogs weekly. I post motherhood lifestyle content here. You can find me on Instagram. You can find me on TikTok. And let's be friends. Let's connect. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Hey, darling. I tell you what's been on my mind Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light Hey darling